Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at variables in JavaScript. So I'm going to start by creating another file here. Let's go to the file menu and new file, or I can just use this icon here in the um, in the uh, Explorer in Visual Studio Code. Uh, so e either way is good. Let's take a look. So I create a new file. Um, I'm going to start giving my files names that have section numbers and file numbers in just to help me organize this course and so that you can find my code more easily on GitHub. But uh, you don't need to do that, of course. So um, you could call this variables.js, but I'm going to give it a number and call it 01050 space variables.js. All right. Um, now, uh, let's, let's write out, let's basically recreate the hello world program that we had last time. So I'm going to write console.log and single quotes and hello world. And at the end, uh, we should really put a semicolon. It will work without that, but I, you know, a semicolon is kind of used to define the end of a, a statement, a complete sort of bit of little bit of code in JavaScript. And um, I think it's good practice to put it in generally. Okay, so now we can go to the terminal, zoom out a bit here. And if I do ls in this directory, I can see my new file and I can run it with node and the file name. So I've used a, a tab key to autocomplete the file name here. And because I've got a space in mine, um, in order to stop uh, the, the bash shell interpreting this as two, two file names, one called 01050 and the other variables.js, um, bash has helped the bash autocomplete helpfully put a backslash in front of the space um, that stops it being treated as a separator character. If you've just called your file variables.js and it's not got spaces in the file name, though, you won't have to worry about any of that. All right, so let's run it and check that it works. It says, hello world. Okay, now, we could um, we could use what we call a variable to refer to this hello world message. And you'll see um, as we go along through the course that variables are a key part of computer programming. They're ab absolutely a fundamental building block that we use here. So let's write this. I'm going to make up a name. Um, I'm going to create a variable called message, all lowercase. And I'm going to set that equal to, in single quotes, hello world. And I'll put a semicolon at the end. And then we're going to output this variable or the value of this variable in console.log. I'm going to write console.log and in the round brackets I'm going to put message. So what have, what have we actually done here? Well first of all let's just see it running. If I run it, it doesn't seem to do anything different to before. It just says hello world. So um, this is what we call a string in computer programming, this bit of text. And uh, message, it's like a, a label that I've devised. So if you think about it, okay, this, this text here, when the program runs, it must be somewhere in the computer's memory. And it's as if we put a label on that bit of memory called message so that we can use the label message to refer to this piece of text later on. And then we say console.log message. We can also do this with numbers. Let's go down and create another variable. Uh, let's call this, um, I don't know, let's call it days and set it equal to seven. So it's like the number of days in a week. So days equals seven, semicolon. And then if I write console.log days like this, and then let's go back and to the terminal and run this, And it says hello world, and then it says seven. So we've output seven. 
Uh, so th- some people get confused because at this point it looks as though we're saying days equals seven. And what does that even mean? That's not really what we're doing. This equals here is what we call the assignment operator. Um, so these are variables. Message and days are variables. And uh, we're using equals to assign a value to them. You can think of it as though we're storing a value in them. Although I, th- I think in JavaScript, arguably, it's more accurate really to say that um, these variables are like labels uh, that we use to refer to these these values, these literal values we call them. But um, basically, we we say here that we we are assigning values to variables. So I've assigned the value hello world to the variable message and I've assigned the value seven to the variable days and then we can output those. Try those for yourself and we'll discuss this more and look at some refinements to this in the next video.